Golden Land. So let's go ahead and let's start with our lateral um, incisor. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go real slow here. I'm going to engage the beak onto the palatal surface of the root. Now if you have a, an elliptical um, surface, palatal surface, you may want to take a little surgical burr and flatten the root of the tooth. We're not removing bone, we're simply removing part of the tooth. I'm a right-handed dentist, uh, but I'm going to use my left hand, and sometimes I'll just kind of hold the instrument, I won't do this for the video demonstration, just to make sure we have a good purchase point. And if we can scan out just a little bit, I just want to show you my hand position quickly. And I'm not squeezing the instrument. It's very, very critical that you don't squeeze the instrument. This is not a traditional forcep where we're using a lot of physical force to remove the tooth. We're not using a figure eight motion or a buccolingual motion. What I'm doing is, and we can go back, is we've placed the beak onto the palatal, the bumper as high up the vestibule as possible. And then what I'm simply doing is rotating my wrist. Now in this situation, I'm kind of rotating my wrist. There's no forearm, there's no bicep, there's no shoulder pressure. I'm real simply placing pressure, but not squeezing the instrument. And I'm rotating my wrist towards the corner of her left eye. And if we see the tooth move a little bit, I think the crown maybe, the filling may be coming off. But you can see the tooth move. I'm going really, really slow. And what the instrument is intended to do is to move the tooth maybe two or three millimeters. It's not intended to remove the tooth in total. And there's a crown here, so I'm going to remove that, and you have to be very conscious of it. So now you can see we have a little, not a crown, but a big filling. And let's just see where we are. And what's, what's happening with the forcep is it's a class one lever, or a modified class one lever, and what we're doing is creating um, uh, tension onto the periodontal ligament. And we get a physiologic response where we're getting hyaluronidase breakdown of the periodontal ligament. And that breakdown will elevate the tooth out of the socket. We're not moving the tooth facially out of the socket, but rather the tooth is being lifted up and out of the socket. And it may take two, three minutes to do that. And you can see I'm a lot, very little pressure. And you can see the tooth move a little bit. It's moving a little bit. Just take your time. As dentists, we have a tendency to want to go fast. I don't want you to go fast. And you can see the tooth has moved up and out of the socket. Now, Golden has a tooth delivery instrument. Let me get back up a little bit. And it's simply a forcep that has teeth on it, kind of a bird beak type. And what I'm going to do is engage. I'll try to use my left hand. Again, I'm a right-handed dentist, so for video demonstration. And what I'm doing is engaging the tooth and rotating and trying to elevate that tooth out of the socket without damaging the buccal plate at all. The buccal plate is totally intact. So if I did want to place implants in this area, I do have facial bone, um, mesial distal bone, and a really nice extraction. You just have to take your time with this forcep. It's not intended to go fast. It's not like a conventional forcep. 